Yo guys, welcome back to the PCO Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at the single strike quillfish today. Do not attack single strike quillfish because of its ability, Bursting Needles. Now, this card is a single strike Pokemon, meaning it can do more damage thanks to single strike energy. It can do a poison attack, which means we can do even more damage with Toxtroke. And then you have the ability on top of that, Bursting Needles, if this Pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon, which is pretty insane. Six damage is quite a bit of damage to put on the Pokemon. Now, we also have Rocky Helmet in the format, which if they get knocked out with the Rocky Helmet on, that's 80 damage. Combine that with the extra poison damage with Toxic Croak, and I mean, bro, Quillfish is swinging pretty hard. Even though it's only doing 30 day base damage, we can make that damage rack up quite easily. It's gonna be a lot of fun to try the deck out for a little fun rogue meme deck, but it is kind of cool when the opponent actually just knocks out the Quillfish because they don't have a boss's order or a Fiona or escape rope. The Quillfish is just gonna be gladly KO'd. So before we get in the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Carcaven TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCG pack codes, get them over at Carcaven. Carcaven sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes, like Chilling Rain, Battle Style, Sword Shield Base Set, Rebel Clash, Dark Blaze. Get them all over at Car Cabin. Or if you're looking for any other PCGO code related item, like any GX or V promo codes, sleeve codes, any PCGO, PCGO codes whatsoever, get them over at Car Cabin. You can get any codes over at Car Cabin. Of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Car Cabin too. So shout out to Car Cabin. If you're looking for PCGO codes, get them over there. They got them for the cheapest. And use code LDF. Also, check out the video articles I've been posting too. It'd be greatly appreciated if you go give them a watch. I just posted one on a deck profile on the Gardevoir Delay deck. Also, follow me on Twitch down below. I've been streaming a lot more now. I'm trying to get partnered on Twitch, so follow me down below on Twitch. Um, so, the Quillfish cool list is this is what I'm playing here. Now, this deck is kind of cool. Obviously, the ability makes Quillfish cool really cool because if they knock it out, they're taking 60 damage. And again, when you rack up the damage with single strike energy and poison damage with Toxic Croak, Quillfish is like two-shotting VMAX and Tag Team Pokemons quite easily, which is kind of cool. The only Achilles heal this deck really has is Oracorio and Boss's Order all together. Obviously, Quillfish does kind of get bodied by Boss. It's just the unfortunate reality of this card being in our standard format. It gatekeeps a lot of these fun strategies we try to work with. But the opponent does not play Boss's Order because sometimes they only play two or three Boss in their list. They don't play the Boss. The Quillfish gets to reign supreme and have that ability damage them. Now, we are playing 3-2 Houndoom. Thankfully, Quillfish just needs two energy to attack colorless energy for that matter so we can actually just play you know a 3-2 houndoom line we don't need to play 4-4 houndoom because we only need like one houndoom and play at a time to power up our quillfish now theoretically this does work with twin energy but i'm not going to play it i'm actually going for the single strike energy houndoom route alongside capture energy and a recycle energy capture energy is very cool in here allowing your quillfish to attack and also put a pokemon in play this can get you another quillfish in play this can get you a toxic croak or crow can play or a hound hour it's just Probably better than playing Twin Energy. I find Capture Energy is an amazing card in this deck. Just getting that extra Pokemon. Because you want to fill your bench up, right? You want to fill them up with Toxic Croaks. You want to fill it with a Houndoom. You want to have another Quillfish. You probably want an Oracorio and play it in Tribute. Maybe even Mew if you're playing against Urshifu. So that's why the Capture Energy, I think, is a lot better. Now, we are playing a lot of Pokemon Search. we got four Comms. Find the like Evolutions. Four Quick Balls. One Level Ball. Can you search this Hound Hour, Krogunk, and Quillfish. One Evil Wind Sense. I wouldn't mind playing a second Evil Wind Sense, though, to be honest. Three Switch. Because we are playing a Gallarmine in the deck now. I'm playing three of them. Gallarmine is very good in here because if we poison them with Quillfish, we can actually make it so they can't retreat as easily. So we actually kind of keep them in the active. This can force the opponent to stay poisoned in the active and then attack us. Make them have to play a hard switch or like a Malon or Bird Keeper. And if they don't play that, they stay poisoned. And that is why the Gallarmine is in the deck. Also, we can use Gallarmine to like trap the Dene and then like hit them with Poison Jab. They can't retreat, then they're stuck. Dust Island would work too. If you want to play Dust Island, be my guest. Um uh yeah we got three switch and two bird keeper to complement the gallery mine so our own pokemon are not stuck in the active two boss two bruno one karen's conviction to do more damage i wouldn't mind me playing a second one or even a lantern three marnie a marnie with poison is pretty devastating giving them a four card hand while gallery mine is in play makes them you know four cards is you know it's unlikely they find switch a lot of the time uh two research two rocky helmet i wouldn't mind maybe playing a third rocky helmet though for the quillfish we got four single strikes then yeah that's the energy and that's the deck try it out have some fun with quillfish today Okay, here we go with the first match with the Single Strike Quillfish deck. We do win the coin flip here, which is good. Uh, we do want to go first this deck, I think, just try to get an extra energy and play if we can. Um, it's a mulligan. It's not it. They're playing against here, and if Quillfish can actually win a game, I don't know what to tell you. We don't know we're playing against either, so I don't know what to say. All right, what's it going to be? Shadow Rider, one time? All right. Rokunk or Corio. No supporter in our hand here, which kind of sucks. Uh, we got Capture and Jeep that can get us Quillfish. We don't have a Houndour either. Now nah, we do. Okay. 
I don't know, but it looks like we're playing against ADP, which if we're going to have any bad matchup, guys, it's probably just ADP. We can get the Hound Hour, though. Now we need Hound Doom. I'll retreat. They might play Crushing Hammer. I'm not going to risk it. Yeah, not a great hand. No supporter. No, uh, not much really to do. Hopefully we can draw something, though. We'll see what my opponent ends up doing here and what they're playing. We do see... Unfortunately, it's probably ADP, which, I mean, we're playing a Quilfish. We're not being ADP. Uh, oh, they play a Sonya. Oh, they're playing a Bronzong deck. Let me say I have Cheryl, potentially, which could be problematic. But they might not be playing ADP, which is the important thing about this. They might not be playing ADP. And as long as they're not playing ADP, you know what? Quilfish, you might actually have a chance of beating my opponent. Um, we do need to get a top deck, though. Our hand is completely dead right now, so hopefully we can draw something here. Nice. They hit an energy off a Trevor Sword. We got the Hound Doom. So we can attack them here at least. We have that going for us. Poison Jab, I guess. Hit him for a nice 70. 70 damage is actually not bad. Considering we got the Helmet and the ability, that's an extra 80 damage. If we had Toxicroak can play... They would be taking 110 damage by attacking me. They would fall going back into their turn if we had Toxic there, I'm pretty sure. So that was close. Ish. But uh, we'll see if they knock me out here. They probably will KO me. There's a chance they don't because they don't want to walk into our ability. I doubt it though. We could have been to our Choreo, but I got to hold it because it, they could just KO my Cool Fish here. Um, like, if I venture a Choreo, I mean, look, they have double Sinchino. There's there's a good chance they find a boss, so it's probably better to not venture a Choreo in case we get boss KO'd. It does mean we get to attack with Quillfish some more, but it also means we can't draw more cards to get us out of our little slump here, so we had to hold the Oracorio. We still need to actually figure out a way to go back into Quillfish next turn. This is not looking good. We might have to attack with, like, Darkness Fang. I mean, I think we can maybe do that. I mean, they're taking 80 damage here. I could have played the Galar Mine down, but I don't think we have to play it down just yet. I think it's too early to drop the Galar Mine on my opponent. Yeah, it's probably too early to drop the Galar Mine here. Oh, they're going to Bird Keeper out of the Poison. That's fine, I guess. But now do they have a way... Are they going to Bronzong? No, they have an Air Balloon. Okay. I say all of that. Now I should have went Galar Mine. To be fair, though, they probably could have just went Bronzong anyway, so it probably didn't even matter. But now I did wish I put the Gather Mine in play. Um, but they probably just had Bronzong there anyway, so again, it probably didn't matter. They do take 80 damage here thanks to Quillfish and that Rocky Helmet. We could KO them with Houndoom here, so at least we can try to do that for the time being. Dance of Tribute. Okay. We do have the KO. Single strike roar. That's our last single strike energy, though. So we have to find urn. Or we get a thing off the prizes, actually. That could work, too. I'm going to get another Hound Hour here in case we get KO'd. There's a chance Hound Doom does fall here. And I actually will put the Galar Mine in play. So that maybe they can't just have an easy pivot. Let's do it. Darkness Fang. Next turn, we can also, if they don't evolve Bronze Orb, we could boss chase Bronze Orb. Though I might just hit the Zacian and just try to attack it. There's our energy. There's an urn. Beautiful. All right. Decent prizes. Still need a draw supporter, though, but we will take the urn and the energy. Those are cards we actually kind of needed right now, so this is fine. So hopefully they don't play a counter stadium. They do play Bird Keeper, though, so, I mean, we'll see if they have a second one. Uh, but I do think if we put the Galar Mine in play now, though, make it hard on them to pivot. Um, just try to make them dig. Make them try to use as many resources as we can. This is where we wanted to Marnie them, too. I mean, their hand's so big. Marnie would have been really good, but, I mean, those Sinchinos in play, Marnie would still be nice just to slow them down. Well, let's see if they're able to attack me here. If not, we could just KO their bronze or or we could not or we can hit the station for 70. They got me. Yeah. There's I mean, yeah, there's no way. Okay. Metal saucer's insane. There's no way they weren't gonna attack me here. I mean, bro, their hand was huge. Yeah. We did not stand a chance, unfortunately. Do they have a boss? Oh nice. They had the icing on the cake. They had the boss. We can still go quillfish, but now we just lost our draw support Pokemon. Yeah, they had the perfect hand. Three saucers, a switch, and a boss. I mean, what can I do? We could boss kill their bronze orb. I do. We have to just probably hit the station with Quillfish. 
If we're not going to trade a supporter, I guess a Toxicroak would be our second best top deck. We'll see. If we draw a Bird Keeper, I'll probably just go Houndoom instead of Quillfish. That sucks, though. I mean, you can't... That's the problem with playing two prizes in single prize decks. Speaking of boss, we do just redraw the boss, which unfortunately is not what we're looking for right now. So we're just kind of unable to draw a supporter to keep us in this game. I mean, you know, we could have played Karen, Runu. Not much I can do, man. Drawing poorly, it's it's not fun. Not fun. We're getting somewhere though. I mean, we can still kill this Asian next turn with Houndoom, which is not like it's not the end of the world. But how are we gonna knock out the last Pokemon? Is the question though. How are we gonna take out their last Pokemon? Like we really need to like Toxic Croak and play and stuff. Which we're just unable to find because we're just unable to draw cards. This kind of thing. I don't know what their main Pokemon is though. Like the thing is, so my opponents played a lot of different things. I don't know what their main Pokemon is. It's like their main characterization. I haven't seen any Corviknights or anything. Or better growth VMAX. I have no idea what kind of metal deck this is. So I don't know what to expect. To be fair, they still have to actually reset Brave Blade, which with the Galarmine in play, that actually might not be too easy. I mean, they're down one switch and one bird keeper though, so who knows? That means they probably play more. Uh, if they don't attack me this turn, though, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. They actually ditched a second Zacian off of that make do, which is very interesting. Okay, there's Bronzong. That's fine. Oh, they could get another Cinchino, actually, too. Right? Yeah, they, they can get Cinchino. They don't need Bronzong, bro. Who needs Bronzong? Nah. Nah, you don't, my opponent doesn't need Bronzong, bro. It's not needed. I'm surprised they got rid of the other Zacian. That means they probably play four, obviously, but still. That could backfire. Maybe they prize another Zacian. Who knows? All right. What are they doing here? Hopefully, they don't attack me. Like, if they don't attack me here, I'm actually... I think we might have a better shot of winning the game. If they do attack me, unfortunately, I think we are probably going to lose the game. Ooh, cape. I think they put the balloon on, not the cape. If they do attack me, it's going to be hard to win this. But if they don't attack me, we might be able to win the game. Still, we need a supporter, though, to stay in this match. We'll see, though. Okay. Then it'll make do. That's fine. We got the boss. We can reboss Zacian back up. This is not bad, actually. I'm surprised they did with the knockout there. I mean, they need a Bird Keeper switch, right? They play another Sonya. Two medals. If we just take out the Zacian. Are they out of Zacian or something? Like, they haven't played another one yet. Houndoom can also one-shot the Cinchinos, too, if we do another single-strike roar, which is pretty good. Hmm. I think we're gonna go after that Zacian. Chat. I think we're doing it. Don't know draw supporter. Well, that's fine. We were gonna boss him anyways. Uh, they have 140 HP. Poison jump does 70 damage. Plus poison. They will get knocked out if they attack me here, so. Fortunately, my opponent... No matter what, they're going to get killed. I'm going to pull the Toxic or the Krogan because we could draw a Pokecom, I guess. Yeah, they will get killed if they attack me here with Zacian. They will have 6 HP on the dot. Love to see it. What are the chances they play a Mallow and Lana, however? I mean, who knows? They could play Mallow and Lana. And actually, Sinchino would KO me, which would be very annoying. However, they would just reboss Zacian back up, kill with Houndoom. So even though we haven't played a single draw supporter all game, a boss's order is making its rounds. And actually... Kind of working in our favor here, but we'll see if my opponent can KO me. They definitely have an energy, or at the very least, they have the Bronze Zong to move the energy off the Cinchino to the Zacian. So I got no doubt in my mind that our Quillfish will go down. The question is, will they be able to retaliate with another Pokemon after they knock me out? We'll see. Because Houndoom can do a lot of the dirty work, but we'll see what happens. They are down three Zacians, four Evil Incense. They play a lot of Pokemon Search. Three Level Ball, three Quick Ball... Four Evo Incense. Four Sonyas. Alright. That's bad. Now they can attack Mizzacian again because they just had Saucer. Oh no, Bird Keeper. Why not? No, it doesn't matter actually. Do they have a Bronze on? They could have knocked me out with uh, Cinchino here. If they don't knock me out this turn, I will gladly boss kill the Zacian. If they kill me with Bronzor, they knock themselves out. Oh, they're going to kill me with Bronzong? That's annoying, but... We can still kill their Zacian, obviously, which is what we're going to do. 
Uh, I just wish we had another cool fish, though, to work with. I like, really wish we just had a supporter in our hand, bro. That's what this is at the end of the day coming down to. They're out of saucer, though, so we kept the Zacian. We have to go through this Bronzong, and then we're good to go. It honestly could be tough, to be honest. It does 70 damage a turn. That might not be easy. Nah, we'll be okay. They take the 60 damage. They KO their Zacian. With Houndoom, unfortunately. <laughs> Nope, another Krogunk. That is very much not a draw supporter. Alright, we will boss kill the Zacian here. And Darkness Fang. Can we get out of this slumper in? Let's find out. Urn is not a supporter. Bird Keeper is a supporter, but unfortunately it's not going to do as much in this scenario. Unless we draw Quillfish here, we can we can play the Urn because we can draw Quillfish. We will kill their bronze on them with Houndoom. Then they can move Sinchino. This is gonna be this is cutting it close. This is cutting it close. If we can get like another Houndoom set up, we could win the game. They actually promote the Sinchino. Do they have another Zacian in their deck? This was a very scuffed match, guys. This is a very scuffed game. Do they have another Zacian? How many energy are they down? They're down three, four, seven. You're not in that much. They still have a ton of energy left. Oh, they're going to boss my Krogunk. That's actually perfect because we did get the Bird Keeper the prizes. This is why I am playing the Bird Keepers in the deck because Galarmine can kind of slow you down if stuff like this happens. Quickball, that's good. We can grab another Quillfish. We can just go Quillfish here, actually, I think. Well, not yet, actually, but... We can knock him out with Houndoom, which I, I think is just probably just better, right? Just kill them with Houndoom. Yeah, I think it's best just to kill them with Houndoom. We I mean, Bird Keeper... And energy would be good. Okay. Finally got Toxic Croak. <laughs> we didn't get another supporter off that, which we don't need right now, though. I'm going to hold the energy and just knock them out, I think. All right. We might actually win this game. Houndoom doesn't get killed by Bronzong here. There's a Cairns Conviction. That would have been pretty good, but we can play that next turn, I guess, to win the game. So I think we will win this here, guys. We'll see what happens. I think we are going to win this game, though. It's looking likely. This was a very interesting game with this Quillfish deck. Despite not having any supporters going, and we weren't really able to, like, establish much. We weren't able to get Toxicroaks in play. Somehow, some way, Quillfish is still holding on. I think it honestly, Quillfish's ability, I think, is what's MVP in us right now. Bursting Needles is just really powerful. I mean, I say that, but it did help us take out the Zacians a lot easier and a lot quicker than expected. Um, oh, they have another boss. That is their third boss, I'm pretty sure. Yes. That's fine, though. They kill my Krogunk. The game's over. They can't trap it in the active because, like, we still have Pokemon in play. I'm pretty sure we are going to win this, though. It's looking likely. I don't think they have a Zacian left. No Zamazenta. Nothing. Zam would actually be a little annoying because they can grow in my energy. All right. That is game. Willfish has defeated my opponent's Bronzong Zacian Sinchino deck in a very interesting fashion. There's a Marnie. We finally got a supporter. But anyway, Darkness Fang up for the win. 190 damage. That is that. See you later, Bronzong. No supporter. Barely played a draw supporter that entire game. Actually, I don't think we did play draw supporter. No, we had Bird Keeper. Still, though, we still managed to win. Quillfish MVP. Let's try the match. That first game was very scuffed. So hopefully this game goes a little bit smoother. Um, oh, oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll take it. Five basics in my opening hand. I mean, I asked for basics, bro. The game has delivered. We will bench. Probably, honestly, I want to bench everything. I will bench another Quillfish. I'm not going to bench Rorcorio just yet. We don't know we're playing it. Ooh, Tornadus VMAX. Single Strike Roar. Okay. That's fine. We can maybe... I think Tornadus is probably favorable, I would say, right? We'll see. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Marnie. I'm not going to bother playing the Quick Ball just yet. I'm going to... I do want to bench Rorcorio, but at the same time, I don't want to have it get bossed. But Quillfish will probably die next turn, so I don't know. Our best top deck would probably be an Energy. Ooh, we can take advantage of the Tower. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think our best top deck here would be Energy. No, yeah, Houndoom's not bad. I'm not going to play the Tower. I'm not going to get rid of the Houndoom. Part of me, honestly, is just like, just hold the hand, you know. We have the Oracorio. We have the Houndoom. We have another Quillfish. I'm just going to hold, you know. I'm going to hold it. In no rush. We're not going to attack him this turn anyways. Because we can't, you know, do anything. So we're not going to be able to attack. I don't play Twin Energy in the deck. Something you could play is Twin Energy if you really want to. I don't think it's needed, to be honest. I don't, I don't think you need to put Twin Energy in here. I think the Captures and the the Single and the Recycle is just 
fine enough. But if you want to play Twinergy, just for this scenario, be my guest. Even if we attack them, we do, what, 30 damage, 40 with poison. They evolve out of the poison anyways, and then we're back to square one. All right, so how much is this thing doing? Doing 60 right now with the single strike. They can KO me with the Tornadus VMAX. There we go. Yeah, I wanted them to evolve because they can evolve out of poison, so might as well just wait. All right, there we go. They knock me out. They take 60 damage. They take a lot of damage here. We promote the Quillfish. That's top deck could be an energy. Valor Mine's not bad. Yeah, we'll bench for a Corio now. Do single strike roar. And up the deck by one card. Playing Oricorio is risky, of course, because of boss, but we have to play it because we need to draw cards. There we go. We got Toxic. Got a Hound Hour. We can quick ball away. We can grab ourselves another Quillfish. We need to just keep getting our Quillfishes down. Put Tower the other Hound Hour away. I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to go Galar Mine. We actually didn't get an energy off that, so we need a Marnie and find energy here. There we go. I was like, oh, no energy. That would uh, really set us back quite a bit. No cap. Get another Krogunk, I guess. And just not hit him for 50 damage. But we got a Toxic Croak in play, so the poison damage racks up. So how much HP do they have left? They have 160, so they take 60 from me. We might be able to kill them next turn, especially if we get another Toxic Croak. We'll see what they do. I am worried about Orokuro getting boss this turn. That is the only thing I'm worried about. They have a small hand. We'll see if they have it. They had a Marnie. We need to get our Quillfish back. We need to find Rod, actually, too. We're not out of the woodwork yet. They're going to Dedenne. Try to get another Tornadus down, probably. They could find boss off of this. Ooh, Tyranitar. That actually could be big for my opponent. They could Craigalanch one-shot my Quillfish. You know, it is an option they have. Quick Ball, a lucky energy for a Hound Hour. They actually go for another Hound Hour. No Tornadus? They probably drew it then. No, they're powering up Hound Doom. So they're going the Hound Doom route. Okay, that's fine. They take a bunch of damage here. Do need to get Rod back. We have our own Hound Doom though, so who knows? We should be able to kill him this turn. We're gonna go single strike roar. Play the Oracorium. I could quick ball, but there's no Pokemon to find. We need to get We can find a rod. We can even win sense for another Toxic Croak. Put boss to Dedenne. He can't move. This tornado is already heavily damaged. I, I think we want to take the three prizes. Especially because we did prize one of our Quillfish. Nice. We got the rod. We didn't get a Pokemon search card, though. We got a capture energy for next turn. So maybe that'll work. And rod is pretty good, though. Bench this, I guess. Sure. Probably just attack with Houndoom next turn, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, they died of poison. We take three prizes. Hopefully, we can get Quillfish cool out the prizes. No, nope. Mew. Boss is good. Nope. We got Quick Ball for Quillfish, cool though. We still need to... If we can get a Bird Keeper or a Switch, we can attack with Quillfish. Cool we still have them all in the deck. We still have all our Switch. Do they do? They could KO my Oracoria with Houndoom this turn if they get another Single Strike Energy on. Um, and a boss, which they could have. That would be a little devastating, not gonna lie. That would be a little devastating. The Houndooms are a little annoying because they can knock me out. Because we do have to take the 20 damage with our own Houndoom. So it's like perfect math for my opponent. Yeah, rip. But they do take 60 damage. We Actually, I think we kill the Houndoom next turn. This still could work out in our favor. Probably should have won our Houndoom, actually. Yeah, probably should have. Get rid of Mew. Yeah, I think we should have went with our Houndoom, actually. Just knocked them out with our Houndoom. Let's see what Dangerous Tribute gets us. Switch? No Switch. Yikes. Hmm. Kind of regretting not going our Houndoom, to be honest. I think we just should have went with that route. Definitely should have. We'll just research here, I guess, and hope for the best. We still have Switch in the deck, right? Three of them are in the deck. Let's we'll see if we can find one. Oh, we could have done Single Strike Roar, too. All right, we got the Switch. Single Strike Roar. Should have done the Single Strike Roar first, but maybe we wouldn't have gotten the Switch. So it all worked out in the end. Ha, ha, ha. No misplays were made in today's video. Kek W. All right, we knock him out here with the Poison. 
They will KO me. We have another cool fish we can work with. And we'll go from there. There we go. There's our nugget. That's good. We got our last cool fish, the prizes, which is what we need. To be fair, though, I think I still might go with my own doom. I don't know. We'll see what they end up doing. Oh, we can't use our Houndoom, actually. We need... How many urns do we have left? We have one left. Ooh, a Marnie. That's really bad. We do lose our Quillfish. But that's not a boss. I mean, we still get a Recorio, which is good. But to be fair, they are one boss away from winning. Ooh, nice. Switch and Quick Ball off of that. That was a really good Marnie for us. Let's see. If they don't knock me out here, I think we're going to win the game. If they don't kill me. They have to do a second to Denny. To be fair, with Gallarmine in play, we could tramp the Dene. They, well, they haven't played a Switch yet, though, so it's a little risky. My opponent hasn't played a Switch yet. And there's, okay, they got the Counter Stadium. That doesn't work anymore. But will they knock me out here? If we get to live the turn, I think we're in a pretty good spot. If they do KO me, we could be in trouble. My opponent also has not established a second Tornadus. Let's check Roar. Right in the energy. I mean, they have an energy in their hand, then, to knock me out. How many Houndooms do they have left? Oh, two. Uh, the Houndooms are a little bit of a problem, not gonna lie. Yeah, they have the capture. I think we have the boss to Denny if we can. We can get to that point. We have Musto? No. Hmm. Well, we can KO with our Houndoom here. I actually feel like it's probably correct. We'll see if we top deck. Bruno. We danger tribute first. Yeah, I think we just go with our Houndoom. Because our Houndoom won't get killed by their Houndoom, so we can capture energy for another Hound Hour. We also could just get Quillfish, too. So our Houndoom should survive the turn. Right. No, I guess we'll play it safe. I don't want to risk it. Um, I think I do Marnie them here. They could still win the game with like a boss or something. So playing it safe is probably safe, you know. They know the deck a little bit. Marnie. Gallarmine could be pretty good off this Marnie. I do have to watch out. My opponent very much could have game here. That is what I'm worried about. We can get rid of this other quillfish at this point. Okay, we got a mine. We can put that into play now or we can wait. I think I'd rather put into play so they don't just have like make it harder on them to win. You know? And Darkness Fang. Hopefully our hound doesn't get KO'd. That's why I got another hound hour just to be safe, but it might not pay off. Okay, there's our second rod. And this is gonna be a close one, guys. My opponent played very smart by not using tornadoes. If my opponent just went two tornadoes V Max, I think we were winning this game. The fact that my opponent didn't go two tornadoes V Max is definitely bad. Oh, they had the third tower. No, they just need they just need uh, they just need a hound and a boss to win the game because Aura Corio is weak to dark. And putting two prizes in play sucks, man. That's why I don't play any Crobat or Denny. If I bench too many two prizes, my opponent doesn't even have to attack my Quillfish. Which is like the whole point of the deck, is to attack Quillfish. Um, anyways, let's see what they got. They don't have game here. We should win the game. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should have went Quillfish, but they do knock out my Houndoom, right? It's like we can't go with another Quillfish, and then we're just kind of stuck. I think it was just get another Hound Hour. Because we can always switch into the Quillfish anyways, right? We have that play. We have Bird Keeper, Quillfish, and Calm in our hand again. Houndoom. Oh no, they have it. Do they have any single strikes? And a boss. They have a three card hand. They have no Dedene. That is not a that's not a single strike. That's only gonna do that's not enough to KO me. Okay, that's fine. Alright, this is why I played it safe. They did KO me. Now we just have to go with Quillfish's turn to win the game. To be fair, Houndoom can still take a hit. Okay. All we need is a Pokemon. Rod. We'll go Houndoom, Wolfish. Here we go. What do we get? We got Houndoom. Oh, but do we not have any single strikes left? 
don't. Yeah, we actually have no way to uh, attack him because we don't have any single strike energies left in the deck. We need to get our last urn of vitality here. Well, here goes nothing. We draw through most of our deck. We have Marnie. Marnie gives us one extra card. Oh, no, no, we can win, right? We can Marnie the... Sh well, okay, no, no, we can Marnie shuffle. Hold on a minute. Quillfish is insane, bro. This card's busted. Yeah, we can go switch. Marnie shuffles the deck. I forgot about that. Marnie... Well, not shuffles, but it puts the energy back in the deck. Um, now we got the urn anyways. Cool. Look at the urn at the end of the day. Let me just single strike, roar, onto the quillfish. And poison jab for a bit of damage. And the poison from the Toxic Croak should end the game off here. There we go. What a very close game. My opponents are playing very smart by using their little Pokemon. That's two games in a row where my opponent has used their little Pokemon, like the Bronzong and the Houndoom, to attack my Quillfish. They're not using their main attacker. My opponent, if they went Tornadus the whole time, we probably could have won the game. They broke it off and were like, we got to go all in with Houndoom. It was smart. We still were able to keep up in the match, though. Wolfish, it's not working too bad. This is not going too bad. All right, turn on the match. We're up against Rapid Strike Urshifu here, I think, which, you know, the matchup is sketchy because we need Mew in play. But if we get Mew in play, we're vibing. Well, speak of the devil. Not the worst hand ever, actually. It's a pretty good hand. Other than not having a supporter, we do have a pretty solid hand. We can get a uh, Houndoom going next turn and start attacking, so that's good. We just need a supporter, and this hand is vibing. Ooh, another single strike deck. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's get our little hound hour. Put that on and pass. Beautiful. So I guess we're not playing a Rapid Strike Urshifu. Another single strike deck, though. Now, will my opponent go the route of Houndoom again? Is my question. Or will they just go all in with the Urshifu? This is going to be a very interesting match. Hopefully, we can get some supporter, though, soon. We have Oracorio. So once they KO my Quillfish, we should be okay. Now, you also could put Giant Bomb in the deck if you really wanted to. Um, oh, they Marnie me. Never mind. We lose our hand. We could put Giant Bomb in the deck over Rocky Helmet. The problem with Giant Bomb is a lot of the time the opponent will not do that much damage to Quillfish. Um, we got a Capture Energy. Play that, get a Crow Gunk down. They do get a Stone Energy on. That does suck a little bit. That does make them a little tanky, to be fair. And they could knock me out the Baby Urshifu, too. See what they have. Oh, they had a Dedenne to go with it. Stamp, that's a good discard. That's a nice card that I do not want to see. That is nice. It's always a good thing when your opponent loses a reset stamp. Okay, the, the scroll score makes it easier for them to attack me, which is annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. If only they went with the Surshifu instead of this one, because this one can knock me out with Impact Blow. Nice, that was a good top deck. Can we get Houndoom and attack him with your Quillfish? Get Houndoom. We can spread the Capture Energies out. Krogunk. I honestly don't even want to do Marnie here. I kind of just like keeping the Bruno. Bruno gives us the most outs next turn. So I actually think we just hold the hand and keep the Bruno. Just Poison Jab. Although I would like to get more Krogunks down, but this, you know, what we have, the Bruno, I kind of want to keep it. Let's see. I'm hoping they go with Urshfu VMAX. Right? I'm hoping they go Urshfu VMAX here. We'll see. No. Nope. They got another energy. Great ball. No, they fail it. Research. They could find the... They could find VMAX. I want them to go VMAX, but I don't know if they will. Let's see if they're getting Houndoom or Urshifu. No, it gets VMAX. Oh, they evolved. There we go. You love to see it. That's what we wanted to see the whole time. Because now we can knock out, take three prizes. Speed up the process of winning. They can't get with Beatdown, though. They actually didn't have an energy. They couldn't have knocked them out Beatdown. So Laser Focus kind of stings. Because they couldn't... They might not have been able to beat down me there. Who they got. Quick Ball. All right, they get another Hound Tower. They're getting them ready. They haven't found a Houndoom yet, which is good. They can't build up the other Shrews as quickly. If they have a Houndoom, though. Nope. Nice. Perfect. They take 80 damage here with our Balloon and everything. They got 210 HP, so that shouldn't be too bad. A couple more Quillfishes, and we can get there. Do we top deck here? Quick Ball. That's a good top deck. I'm going to get another Quillfish. Could get Oracorio, but I don't know, man. I'm just... I'm paranoid to bench Oracorio, man. Just It's such a... So risky in boss matchups. I haven't even played a boss yet. Okay. So, what are we doing here? Level ball for another Krogunk. 
We could just get Toxicroak. Or we can go Oracorio this turn. Um, you know what? We're going Oracorio. This is in the deck. Yeah, okay. We're going Oracorio because, you know what? We might not get Toxicroak, but at the very least, we can hold the hangs. We have Karen next turn, which we can play if we can find energy and stuff. There we go. Ah, no, no Toxicroak, though, unfortunately. Uh, that sucks a little bit, not gonna lie. I did want to get a Toxicroak off of that to do more damage. The math actually might have worked out in our favor. No, the Toxicroak wouldn't have made a difference with the knockout, so we can still knock him out next turn. I mean, Oracorio might just get KO'd by a boss here, which I would not care too much about. It would suck, but then we have Karen's Conviction to hit a little bit harder. It sucks we didn't get thing there, but we can go... We can attack with another Cold Fish. This isn't terrible. This is now they are go... Oh, they're going after my Houndoom, which I don't know if I actually agree with because... Well, now they can't kill my Orcorio, which means we get another free turn of Orcorio. Interesting KO. That's an interesting choice of Pokemon to knock out. Because we can just get another Hound Hour and play. We have two rods in the deck, so we can always get Houndoom back. All right. No Strike Energy. Bench this. Answer Tribute first. Here we get. Top Croak. No, dude. Where's my Croaks at, bro? Where's my Toxic Croaks at? Play the Rod, I guess. I mean, we might as well play Karen now. No reason not to. That sucks, man. Where's our Toxic Croaks at? I think actually Toxic Croak would make us KO this, right? The 70 damage with the poison. Yeah, they literally survive with 10 HP if they attack me here. With the Bursty Needles. Oh my gosh. We're literally... Oh my gosh. We need a Toxicroak to KO the Urshifu here. Because now they can attack me and they don't get KO'd by the Bursty Needles poison. That sucks a lot, bro. No, oh my gosh. That's so unfortunate. They would get KO'd if they went after Oracorio, though. But that sucks, man. That sucks so much. Oh my god, they hold on with 10 HP, bruh. Well, you know what? We could just go Mew this turn, which I actually think I have to do. I don't know. I think we're going to lose, though. We are very far behind now. That is the other issue right now. We are actually very, very far behind. We're very... We still know Toxic Croak, bro. Where are they at? Yeah, we're very far behind right now, which is not good. Probably just Marnie, I guess. I don't know. This is not good. We're probably going to lose. That was a key. That was a crucial turn to not get the knockout. That was a very bad turn for us to not kill them. We can, nah, I think I'm going to research, actually. Screw it. We're just going to research. And we're just going to dump the hand and draw, new, draw more cards. Marnie would have been okay. They didn't really do much anyway, so might as well just Marnie. Okay, we finally got a Toxic Croak. A little late for it to really matter, though. But now we can just side power. Just kind of do our thing. All right. Might as well play that. So we can side power. We could go after this Urshifu. But the problem is if we do that, we can get knocked up by the Urshifu on my Mew. So I actually think we just put 30 on the Denene. Because we hit the Urshifu here for 30, they can just knock me out with Furious Anger. We actually gotta make him find the KO on my Mew, so we'll just do that instead. Recycle Energy's good. Urn is good. Rocky Helmet, not bad either. I think we're still gonna lose this game though, guys. We just, that, we missed a crucial turn of knocking them out there because we couldn't find our Toxic Croaks. I um, mean, I could have researched instead of when Karen, to be honest. That would have probably found us Toxic Croak, but I didn't want to risk it. Alright, they do not have a KO yet. They have to get another VMAX in play to actually kill my Mew here. But it's just game over. Unless we... There's nothing we can do. We have to take three prizes. If we KO'd the Urshifu, I think we would have had a better shot of winning the game. Yeah, we just needed that turn to KO them. And we probably would have won the game here. Wolfish would have MVP'd. But unfortunately, I think we are just going to be one turn too late from winning this game. Um... Yeah, I think the only way to win was to have the Urshifu get knocked out by my ability. But unfortunately, they held on with 10 HP because we couldn't find our Toxicroaks to save our lives. So unfortunately, we were unable to get there. Maybe we can hold on. They do KO me, though, with the with the scroll. So it's like, yeah, there's just nothing we can do. 
we're just gonna lose unless even if we boss to denny and buy a turn we still have to take another pokemon out so it's like it's literally very hard to win this but we'll see though we'll see like they're just one boss off from winning too that's the other problem right they're just a boss away from winning we'll see what we can do Okay, they go straight for the VMAX, which is good. So we can still KO that. They might just boss... If they boss my Recorio this turn, they literally checkmate me. Um, That's... Yeah, they just boss my Recorio. They literally just put me on checkmate. We'll see if they got it, though. We'll probably have the Marnie next turn and hope they don't have it. They still have to take out two more Pokemon. If they can go to... If they have to take... Oh, no. There they go. What? They go after Toxicroak? Uh, why did they not KO my Recorio? I mean, that does suck. Now we do less damage, but, like... That does give me an extra turn. That was kind of confusing. That was... That's... I don't get that at all. Oh, okay. And Dance Tribute. Try to get another Tox Croak. There we go. I think we can go Quillfish too. Get rid of this Quick Ball. Yeah, that was weird. Why would they do that? Alright, well, I'll take it. A win is a win, potentially. I don't know. We're, our damage is still super weak right now. Even with the, even the Helmet on. Now, here's the thing. Do I Marnie them and give them a third boss? Or do they even play three boss? Or do I just attack them and hope they don't have boss? I think I just attack and hope they don't have boss. I don't really want to Marnie them. I don't want to give them the boss. Let's just poison jab. Now, if the Toxtroke did live there, we would be doing a lot more damage right now. If we had Karen in the deck too, I think we'd get there. They have 210 HP. Well, okay. Maybe we can win actually. If they don't have boss. But do they have it? Should I have should I have Marnie them? I should have Marnie them! No! But they also got a top deck that. And that's game. Unfortunately, we didn't win. Actually, I think we would have won if they attacked me, right? They take 80 damage plus 30, 110. Yeah, I think we might have been able to win the game. Because I was also gonna go Hound Doom and put like I was gonna try to get at least three single strike energies on my Quillfish. That was a super close game. Again, it all came down to a boss's order. But anyways, that'll be it for you guys on the Quillfish deck. We nearly beat the Urshfu deck. We actually could have won had we just had that extra turn where we KO'd them when they attacked me instead of them holding on with 10 HP. So that game actually was very close. We had a very good shot of beating them. That'll be it for you guys on the Quillfish deck. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, if you want to play the deck, you can definitely run into Shadow Rider, Calyrex, VMAX, and give them a bit of a headache for sure. It's a lot of fun. If they knock out cool fish, it's a lot of fun to make the ability work. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's piece of video, always leave a like. And if you guys are um, new to the channel, subscribe. I'm in the road to reaching 18,000 subs, guys. We have been growing very fast. So I got to thank you guys for all the new subscribers and all the support on the content as we near the end of the team up and on format. Tomorrow's video will probably be on another GX card that is rotating. Um... Yeah, that'll be it. Check out Karkhaven. and check out my Twitch. I am streaming a lot more now. I'm trying to get partnered on Twitch. So if you guys haven't checked out my Twitch, follow it right now. Down below, link, click it now. Click it. Like, what are you doing? Follow it. Like, what are you, seriously, what are you doing? Bye-bye.